Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsorry.com. We have crossed 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. So let's start our discussion. Today the topic of our discussion is difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription. Simple point-wise explanation of the transcription process in prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Let us start with what is transcription. So this is a double strand of DNA. So let's take the sequence for better understanding. So this is a double stranded DNA sequence. So transcription is the formation of an mRNA using this DNA template. Any strand can act as a template. So it is simply the formation of mRNA from DNA. This process is a transcription. Later this mRNA is translated to protein. Now moving into the difference. Difference number one, it is regarding the site of transcription. In the case of prokaryotes, there is no true nucleus, there is no compartmentalization, therefore transcription occurs in the cytoplasm. Whereas in the case of eukaryotes, transcription occurs in the nucleus. RNA formation occurs in the nucleus. This processed RNA is later transported into the cytoplasm for translation. Difference number two, it is regarding transcription translation association. In the case of prokaryotes, as you, as you can see in this figure, this, this green line is a newly formed RNA. So transcription is going on, translation has already started. So the process of transcription and translation is coupled. Both occurs simultaneously in the cytoplasm. Whereas in the case of eukaryotes, transcription, the formation of RNA occurs in the nucleus. This Then it is further processed. Later it is transported to the cytoplasm for translation. Therefore, both occurs in different sites. Transcription in nucleus and translation in cytoplasm. Difference number three that is regarding RNA polymerase, the enzyme that makes RNA during transcription. In the case of prokaryotes, RNA polymerase there is a single RNA polymerase that is synthesizing all different types of RNA, mRNA, rRNA, tRNA, etc. So this RNA polymerase consists of five subunits with an additional sigma factor. This sigma factor makes it a complete enzyme or a hollow enzyme. This sigma factor is essential for binding to the promoter sequence. But as in the case of eukaryotes, there are three RNA polymerases with different functions. RNA polymerase 1, that is involved in the synthesis of rRNA except fibrous rRNA that is located in the nucleolus whereas RNA polymerase 2 that is involved in the synthesis of mRNA and snRNA that is located in the nucleoplasm and RNA polymerase 3 which synthesizes tRNA and fibrous rRNA that is located in the nucleoplasm. So each RNA polymerases are very complex with more than 10 subunits. So in prokaryotes, there is a single RNA polymerase that is synthesizing all RNAs. In eukaryotes, there is different RNA polymerases for synthesizing different types of RNA. Now into the mechanism, difference number four, it is regarding the initiation, difference in initiation process. In prokaryotes, RNA polymerase with sigma factor that binds to a sequence, consensus sequence or conserved sequence which is called as a Pripno box, my, minus 10 region, this is a transcription initiation site and at minus 35 region there is another consensus sequence RNA polymerase bind to this site with the help of sigma factor this is a promoter region for initiating transcription generally no additional proteins are required for binding to this promoter sites whereas in the case of eukaryotes like Pripno box, there is a minus 25 consensus sequence which is called as Tata box or Hawkins box and first, it, first transcription factor 2D binds to this Tata box. Later many transcription factors or proteins bind to the site that f finally facilitating the binding of RNA polymerase to the site. Therefore in eukaryotes, RNA polymerase can bind only after binding by several other proteins or transcription factors or transcription factors facilitates the binding of RNA polymerase to the promoter region. Difference number five that is regarding termination. 
there are two mechanisms in prokaryotes. First one is road dependent termination. Rho is a protein, it's a helicase that binds to a sequence which is called as RAD sequence, which binds to the RNA and ultimately disrupts DNA RNA hybrid and releases the newly formed RNA. Then there is Rho independent termination. There is a terminator sequence that is GC rich, that is self complementary, that forms a hairpin loop structure so that RNA polymerase cannot RNA polymerase cannot further proceed thereby releasing the newly formed RNA. So there are two mechanisms rho dependent termination and rho independent termination. But as in the case of eukaryotes there are many mechanisms and each RNA polymerase differs in termination process and the process is not well known, well understood. In the case of RNA pole 1 there is a termination factor Unlike rho dependent termination, here the termination factor binds to the DNA rather than RNA. In the case of RNA pole 2, it can terminate at multiple sites. There is a signal sequence which is a poly A addition site and it has multiple sites beyond this poly A signal sequence. Whereas in the case of RNA pole 3, there is a polymerizing series of U residues which is actually which doesn't form this hairpin like structure but which can terminate the process. And the function or the mechanism by which RNA polymerizes terminates in eukaryotes is not well understood. Now difference number six that is regarding the mRNA that is formed. In prokaryotic mRNA or transcriptional unit is polycystonic. That means this is the mRNA. It is having coding sequence or information for many proteins, protein alpha, beta, gamma, like that. So a single mRNA under a single control can have coding information for different proteins. That's why it is called as polycystonic. Whereas in the case of eukaryotes, mRNA is monocystonic and each mRNA is having, a, having information for a single protein. So that's why it is called as monocystronic or mRNA with information for only one protein under a single control or single promoter control. So in the case of prokaryotes, mRNA is polycystronic, whereas in the case of eukaryotes, it is monocystronic. Difference number seven, that is regarding mRNA processing. In prokaryotes, as you can see, this transcription and translation both occur simultaneously. Therefore, there is little mRNA processing. You can see transcription is, is happening here and on the fag end, you can see the translation that is going on. So there is coupled transcription and translation, therefore there is little scope of mRNA processing. Whereas in the case of eukaryotes, there is extensive mRNA processing. So first the mRNA is synthesized. The first process is removal of introns and joining of exons. Later there is addition of phi dash cap and also there is addition of poly A tail and all this will prevent mRNA degradation and also helps in transport of this processed mRNA into the cytoplasm for translation. So there is extensive processing of pre-mRNA in the case of eukaryotes. And difference number eight, it is regarding the inhibitors. We'll be discussing only some of the inhibitors. Most common one is rifampicin. That's an drug used as a drug that binds to RNA polymerase beta subunit in the case of prokaryotes and inhibits transcription initiation process. And eukaryotic RNA polymerases are insensitive to rifampicin. And acnomycin D, which is also another drug that intercalates with TNA and disrupts transcription initiation by preventing RNA polymerase binding. But as in the case of eukaryotes, there is a famous natural poison that is in death cap mushroom, that is deadly uh, amanita mushroom. And the compound is alpha amanitin that inhibits RNA polymerase 2 very strongly can inhibit at RNA polymerase 3 also but RNA polymerase 2 is very sensitive inhibiting initiation and elongation process by binding to the RNA polymerase thereby slowing down the translocation of RNA and DNA. So these are the differences between prokaryotic and eukaryotic transcription. Thank you so much for watching. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.